remember everyone, when I say the word plastic, you might think of your plastic toys that you have at home. But scientists use the word polymer to describe plastics. And polymers can be both made out of crude oil-based petroleum or natural things like silk. So today we are going to make our own type of plastic, but out of something you might know, milk. So this is the milk plastic recipe. You're going to need some milk, some vinegar, um, some paper towels, a sieve, and a microwave or a way of heating up your milk. So we're going to start by measuring out one cup of milk and the fuller the fat, the better it is because we want all of those casein proteins in there. I'm going to put that in the microwave until it starts to bubble. So we'll try 30 seconds. Now while that's cooking, we're going to take a large bowl or a large glass jar and we're going to measure in some white vinegar about one tablespoon and the acid in the vinegar is going to curdle our milk if you've ever heard of little miss muffet who sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey that's what we're going to make right now so you should be able to see your milk bubbling as soon as it starts to bubble that's when it's ready so you don't want it boiling over the top you just want it to be warm let's take a look Oh yeah, that's warm enough. So you're gonna take out your milk and you're gonna pour it in with your vinegar. And you should see that it instantly starts to curdle, which means go really lumpy. So, ew, that looks disgusting. So you can see that you're separating the casein proteins in the milk from the other part of the milk. So this is curds and whey. And what we're going to do is we're going to filter off this solid part. So you're going to create basically a filter. I use paper towels and I'm going to line a sieve with some of these paper towels. Four usually does the trick because they go a little bit soggy. So once we've lined them in there, you're going to pour your mixture into this and you're going to wait for it to filter off. So I'll put a little jug underneath. We're going to pour in our mixture and we want all the solids to be filtered out. Now you can see and hear the drips as it filters through and it will normally take, oh, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes to filter through. So we'll let that one filter over there and I have one that I have made already that's been filtering and you should be able to see that you get your solid material here. So this is casein protein. Now we wanna dry this off a little bit more. So I'm gonna scoop it on to some dry paper towels and we're gonna squeeze as much moisture out as we can. So you're gonna squeeze and get out all of the liquid until it's nice and dry. And you're gonna keep doing that with more paper towels until you have a nice dry bit of solid. Now you can try eating this, but it's gonna taste disgusting because it's got vinegar in it. If you wanna do it where you can try it, make it with lemon juice, which is also an acid and it doesn't taste as gross. So basically we're gonna keep patting it down into whatever shape you want and drying it out. Now when it's nice and dry, you're going to either make it into whatever shape you like or you can use a cookie cutter to actually cut out your favorite shape. So let's cut out my favorite shape. What cookie cutter do I have over here? I have a gingerbread man shape. So I'm going to make a milk plastic man or woman instead. Let's see. Here we go. Nice and flat and solid. I'm going to take my cookie cutter. I'm going to cut out that shape. And then I'm gonna leave that to dry. Now, if you can put it on a windowsill so it gets lots of sunlight, you can probably dry it in 24 hours. And once it's nice and dry, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a look at it and see if it's nice and hard. And you can hear that it's hard and it's solid. And so here we have a little sculpture made out of natural plastic, not out of crude oil. Hope that was fun. Show me how your designs get on and you'll join me next time on Nanny Girl's Great Science Adventures. See ya.